to show you how to hook up the Bedini uh, Renaissance Charge 8 circuit SSG circuit board. Um, I have a few of these that I use for some solid state circuits that I was testing out. So this is the board with the resistors installed. Eight transistors, eight diodes, eight neons. And we want to hook it up to two batteries. So we're going to have the input, which is going to power it, and then we're going to charge this one. So I have another one already wired to the coil and to a little Arduino microcontroller 8-bit uh, set up as the trigger so on this board the trigger is actually this red wire and it connects So we want to wire the drive battery to the coil. positive of the drive battery. It's hard to do with one hand. One second while I set that one up here. Okay, so drive battery connected to the coil. circuit board and the ground is actually this line right here I'll show you on this side. it's this top line up here and then I also want to ground my circuit board trigger is already hooked up. It's this red wire and it just goes to a single small NPN which is triggered from the microcontroller. So now we want to hook up the output battery which is this one. So the negative on the Output battery goes to the positive of the drive battery. Oh, and the ground that I hooked up before goes to the negative of the drive battery. And then the output of the circuit is this line right here, which is this bottom bus that all these diodes are attached to. So that gets hooked up to the positive of the charge battery. And then Let's check our voltage on our charge battery. And then we have to hook up power.
power to the microcontroller so that it will trigger the circuit. So for that we hook up to the positive of the drive battery. And then hook up to the input of the microcontroller. And you can hear the coil buzzing. And if you feel the the core, it's vibrating a little. And it's pulsing too fast to see the pulse on the LED. But there's the pulse time. And then here's the output battery. And you can tell that it's connected correctly because disconnect that temporarily you get light these aren't the best connections I'm gonna redo this with uh, actual nice wires and nuts and fittings and all that but as far as I know that's how you hook it up in a SSG configuration with a solid state trigger. And it seems to charge pretty well. I've been doing quite a few runs with them, these bigger batteries. And it takes a while, but it definitely charges them all the way full. So. Cool. Thanks for watching.